Hey everyone, my name is Kasai and I am a TikTok effects creator. If you're on TikTok, you've seen all the different types of bracket filters. So I decided I'd create one, I'd create a bracket template uh, that's just drag and drop and easy to use for beginners or even intermediates. The, the full project is in the description below. So before we get started, you can just go ahead and download it. So this project, uh, here we can test. This project has been in the Effect House Discord for a while, so I thought I'd do a video on it as there were a couple questions on how to change a few things. And there we go. Basically how it works. Now, the first thing you may want to do is say, okay, how do I add images? So you can click here, add asset, import from computer. And to add images, you can just add them individually or the shortest way is to click the first image, hold shift, click the last image, and it will select all. Give it a second for the for it to be added. And now all you have to do is just replace these pictures with the pictures you've added in these in the select patches. So this one and this one. So what that basically means is, um, say you add Apple here at item zero, you'd also add it here in the second select patch. Uh, this is done so that it's, it has to be done this way for this particular template. So I know that may be, you know, somewhat tiring, but it's just drag and drop. What you could also do is say you replace it all right, let's say we're replacing it instead of us, so we have a burger. Now, say you replaced all of them. You could just um, hold it uh, and duplicate it. And then just connect this here into this one and then just reconnect everything where it used to be. That's another thing. So you could just fill one out, duplicate it, and then connect it to the respectable nodes. So for number of images, uh, you can have up to, you can have either 16, 32, or 64 images. So what that means is the pool of images that it picks from is either 16, 32, or 64. Right now it's set to 16, which I think is fine. And what that means is every, the random options you get to choose from, it's pulling from a pool of 16 images. And this is where these select nodes come in. So these are the overall image pools that's been pulled to generate a random image to be chosen between. Now, if you want to say, say you wanted to do 32 images, right now it goes from zero to 15 and counting from zero, that's 16 objects. As normally when we count, we don't count zero, but in programming, it's normally, you normally count from zero, but that's another thing. So you just add up to ha until you have 30, 31 selections. And then you just fill in all your images here until you have 32 objects. You fill in all the 32. Again, you could duplicate it and move it over here. And, and then finally, you go to the index picker and change this from 16 to 32. Now, you'll only do this if you you'll only change any of this if you if you want more than 16 options. So if you want to go 32 or 64, just basically do that, say it was 64, you change this to 64, and just make sure you have 64 options to choose from or the effect is going to start drawing blanks. All right, so let's set this back to 16. And there we go. So let's, what's another question? Another question was how to change the plane sizes. So basically these images up at the top that are right at, right aside the head there, we're using uh, plane objects, 3d planes. And, um, you may want it to be bigger on start. So what you can do is go to which one? Here it is, the enlarged planes when tilted subgroup. So again, you'd only do most of this if you want to change how it is originally for design purposes or whatnot. 
you'd open it and you'd go to min and max. So the min scale is basically the, the original size before you tilt. Because if you realize when you tilt, it kind of enlarges and then it goes back to the original size. So this is the original size. So if you want it to start bigger, you could set this to 1.2 and set the enlarge to say one, the max scale to 1.7. And again, that's how far it enlarges. Let's go back 1.2, 1.7. And let's click here and see how it's looking. And there you see it's already bigger, it enlarges bigger. Great. So let's pause that, head back to the main graph. Also, the placeholder background for the, I guess for the bracket, you see are these black, black Ks on a red background. Uh, if you would like to change that, uh, all you have to do, go over here to Canvas, Bracket Holder, you can show 2D so you can see it, and say so you'd select each one, then you just go over here to Image Background, and I believe I have a cat image, yes, you can test this, and as you can see, the cat is now the image background, or the, I guess, the base image until an option is selected. So it's normally the cat until it's tilted. Just make sure afterwards to, you see it, this one looks a bit bigger than this one. Just make sure to check the sizes. So for example, this is, the size is 336 by 336. So just make sure all the sizes are the same. So one isn't bigger than the rest or I believe it was 336 by 336. So that's a possible bug. But once you change all of the background images, you should be good. They should be the same size. But if you'd like to get it smaller, just go to size and adjust it accordingly. So we can test it here. And there we go. And I guess final, final statement. You are using pictures, so say even better scenario, you're using 32 pictures. Delete any pictures you're not using because Effect House does have that five megabyte, um, that five megabyte limit. So try to optimize as much as you can. If you're not using a picture, delete it as that might take up additional space. Also, this template has been in our Effect House Discord for a while. So if you want more templates like these or to connect with other like-minded creators, be sure to join the official Effect House Discord that will be in my bio. And yeah, I may be doing a couple more of these. So if you're interested, you can always subscribe and I'll see how many more of these I could do.